Welcome to Center for Online Education. Friends, in part one, we have seen that what is statistics, what are the characteristics of statistics, and what is the use of statistics. In that lecture, I have told you about the singular sense and the plural sense and the characteristics of statistics. Now here, in the part two, we are going to see that what is statistical analysis. A statistical analysis is being defined into five stages. So, the first stage is the collection of data. Now, this collection of data is being done by two methods. First is by questionnaire. Second one is by schedule or you can have got interview method. So, your data which you are going to collect is being on the basis of questionnaire, schedule, interview. Sometimes a researcher used to collect the data by the help of the secondary source that is published data. Now, after getting the data, you are going to organize that data into different series. You have got X series, you have got Y series, sometimes you have got multiple data, you have got Z series. So, organization of the data is very important. For example, if you are going to apply rank correlation, you have to keep your data into ascending order or descending order. You have to rank the data into ascending order or descending order. So, organization of the data is a second step which is required. In the first step, you are going to collect the data. In the second step, you are going to organize that data. Now, in the third step, presentation of the data is being there. Why? Because whatever, who are the person who are directly studying your study, they must know that you have collected this data. Your study is being primarily in primary data or in secondary data. So, if it is in primary data, you have to give the, all the data. If it is a secondary data, you have to give the data by mentioning the source from where you are taking your data. So, here presentation of the data in a very simple form must be required so that the person should know that from where you are collected the data and what the data is seen. The fourth stage is analysis of the data. Analysis of the data is dependent upon the data series. Up depends upon the hypothesis. If you are doing regression, you have to go with the past data. If you are going to do correlation, you have got two or more than two series. If you are going to have chi-square, you have got one observed series, the other one is expected series. So, whatever series you have got, whatever statistical tools you are going to take, that statistical tools must be analyzed by the data. So, data is going to be analyzed by specific statistical tools. So, on the basis of that statistical tool, you have to set your data and the last one is interpretation of the data. Now, if you say you have taken chi-square test, so, one is your calculated value of chi-square and the second one is your tabular value of chi-square. So, when your calculated value is less than the tabular value, you say that your hypothesis is being accepted. When your calculated value is more than the tabular value, you say that your hypothesis is being rejected. So, here interpretation of data depends upon that what are the statistical tools you are using and this is statistical tool is only being used by the help of the data collection method because you have certain objectives and on that objectives you have framed your hypothesis. So, that hypothesis tells you that whether you have to take out the relationship of certain things, whether you have to take out the test of independence, whether you have to take out the test of homogeneity or take, whether you have to take out the test of goodness of fit. So, all these things can easily be calculated by the help of statistics. Now, functions of statistics. Why we used to do statistics? 
as a statistician as a businessman as a academician as a government personnel as an administrator as a law maker why we used to do why we use statistics in our daily work the first is reduces complexity means when we take statistics in our daily decision making process the complex decision can easily be taken if you are going to buy a shirt the shirt is of different weights and of different qualities so by maintaining a correlation between the price and the quality you can easily take decision that this is a price this is our budget and on this budget we can easily take out this shirt so here decision making can easily be done because it reduces all the complexities then expresses facts in numbers whenever we are going to take decision by the help of statistics we are going to make decisions on the basis of statistical thoughts so automatically we are going to express this in numbers and the main aspect of number is this is bigger than this and this is smaller than this if you are right 7 lakhs and if you write 11 lakhs so this is more than this so all the decisions can easily be taken because it is being expressed into numbers presentation of data in a condensed form so here if you have got that we have said that there are 500 people sitting and they are eating different types of food so it is difficult for you to calculate that what are the different items how many quantity they require the things but when we take the help of statistics easily we can say that this much of quantity we required because we take the data into condensed form increases the individual knowledge and experiences here if a person knows about statistics he knows that how easily he can interpret the data as you all know that by the past data we can calculate we can predict the future but for this a person must have a knowledge of regression analysis so he must have a experience that how to apply regression analysis if we are going to calculate that how much rainfall in this year it will be so we have to take out the correlation so all these things can only be done if a person has got knowledge and has an enough enough experience that how he is going to apply that knowledge in the field of statistics different phenomena are compared as i have told you there are different statistical tools which are being made for the comparisons z test t test anova test correlation so by statistics you can easily differentiate the form and the difference between the different aspects helpful in formulation of policies the government policies can easily be formulated by the help of statistics why because government policies depends upon the number of people who are being affected by that if you have a large number of amount large number of people who are being affected by that the policy must be bigger there must be a big budget so all these things can easily be done if a person has a knowledge of statistics and good data helpful in prediction and forecasting so here the last function is that by the help of statistics as we have got the specific data of each and every aspect in which we are doing the study it is very helpful to predict and to forecast the right decisions so all these functions all these functions are very important for the point of view of statistics as these helps an individual to take a proper decision now let's see that what are the different types of statistics and how the statistics is being divided so here you can say that statistics is being divided the first one is a mathematical statistics in 
it is being said that statistic is a sister branch of mathematics so mathematical statistics is all about calculating of the things in a numerical form and giving the exact value into the numbers then we have got descriptive study in the descriptive study we used to see that what are the phenomena which has been happened in the past and on the help by the help of statistics we describe that phenomena so whenever we used to do this we used to say that we are going to do a descriptive study then we have got inferential statistics when we take out the inferences of certain aspect we say that we are doing the inferential statistics then applied statistics in applied sciences statistics is highly being used so whenever we used to that in our applied studies we are saying that it is a applied statistics inductive statistics when we used to take the help of statistics in certain phenomena inducively we say that it is an inductive statistics then analytical statistics when we used to take the help of statistics for analyzing certain factors by the help of statistical tools we are going to say that it is an analytical statistics so we are going to say that statistics has been divided into this form mathematical statistics descriptive statistics inferential statistics applied statistics inductive statistics and analytical statistics so these are very important so what type of decisions you are going to take this directly depends upon the form of statistics which you are going to take into consideration then what is the importance of statistics for a person so the first is it is important for business and industry as you all know that all the business and industry depends upon the fact and figure for a proper decision making for an organization to work on profit there must be a proper inventory management system and this inventory management system depends upon the data from where the raw material is coming and where we are going to use that raw material there must be a safety standard measure up to which the raw material should be there otherwise our production activity is going to be affected so all the business industry activity can easily be taken care of when we have got a proper statistic system then second one is importance in the field of science and research as you all know that india is progressing in a very good manner in the field of science research we have got chandrayaan which has been there so for each and every research development activity you require data if you have got a good data if you have got a data which is reliable accurate you are going to get the best result so here statistics is very important when we are doing any activity of science and research then in the field of banking as you all know that money is very important because all the financial activity is being dependent upon the money so all the business activity somewhere or the other is being backed by the financial activity which requires money so for all the banking activity from where the money is going to come and from where the money is going to be used it is being easily understand by the help of statistics important to the state as you all know that in every year in the month of february and march maximum state used to have their budgets so this budget used to tell that from where the money is going to come and from where we are going to apply this money so by the help of statistics they are going to say that this is the money from where which are you are going to get from the taxes from the gst from the people and you are going to apply that tax in the infrastructure in the help of government policies in the help of welfare of the people so this statistics is very important for the welfare state then importance in planning planning can be done by each and every individual planning is being done by the organization planning is being done by the government so for all the planning activity you require data and that data is being given by the statistics so for a proper planning you must have a proper data system 
which is we get from the statistics. So, for a good planning, statistics is very important. So, all these factors are very important, whether it is business or industry, whether it is science and field and research and development, whether it is banking, whether it is a state, whether we used to plan in statistics is very important in each and every field. Now, the scope of statistics. Statistics has got a very wide scope. You never think of in each and every step of our daily life, we used to apply the statistics. So, the first one is present facts in numerical figures. If you go to a market, anything you have to buy, you have, the first question you ask is that what is the price of that person? So, numerical value is very important. The first thing is this, that in the statistics, we are going to give each and everything into numerical value or numerical facts. Second is present complex fact into simplified form. Means here there are different data which has been there. The data will be given in pi, different symbols, but you are going to simplify that data and on that simplification of data you are going to apply the statistical tools which is going to give a specific result and on that specific result you are going to say that whether your hypothesis is being accepted or your hypothesis is being rejected. A steady relation between the two or more phenomena. Whenever you are going to do correlation analysis, rainfall and the production of crop, government policies and the growth of the country, economic policies and the growth of the country, inflation, everything can be measured by the help of statistics. So, here also statistics is being used. Health in formulation of policies. As I have told you that all the government policies, somewhere or the other is being made by the help of the statistical data. So, statistics is very helpful for formulation of government policies. Health in forecasting. Predicting future is very important. And for predicting future, you must have a past data. So here, by the help of statistics, we can predict the future, we can forecast the future easily. So here also, the scope of statistics is very wide. Provides techniques for testing of hypothesis. As I have told you, that in each research and development, in all the researchers, whether it is done by the companies, uh, individual, government organization, in universities, you used to frame hypothesis. This hypothesis is being framed by the objectives which you have got, the assumptions which you have got. So, for testing at the hypothesis, you require statistical tools. So, here also, the scope of statistics is very wide and by the help of your data, you can test and analyze that what is the interpretation. Provides technique for making decisions under uncertainty. As you all know, there is a statistical tool which is known as probability. Probability always tells that what is going to be there. So, when you have what uncertain that whether the things are going to happen or not, whether the things are going to be favorable or unfavorable, we are going to apply statistical tools, probability. So, here, whenever the decisions in uncertainty we have to take, the scope of statistics is very wide. The last one is present facts in numerical figures as I have told you that before also that statistics is all which we have to present our data into the numerical values. Now the last one limitation of statistics. As you all know everything in this whole universe has got certain limitations. Statistics too has got certain limitations. So, let us understand that what is the limitation of statistics. Statistics suits to study the quantitative data only. Quantitative data as I have told you because each and every aspect which you are going to take into consideration in our statistics must be in numerical data. So, there is a qualitative data also. Fragrance, beauty, lifestyle, richness, blissfulness, happiness, joyfulness, sadness, these are the qualified data. So, this can be analyzed, but for analyzing all these things, you must have to convert that qualified data into quantified measure. 
just by ranking the things. So it is very important that you have to rank in a specific manner, in an ascending order, in a descending order. So this is the first limitation that for the use of statistics, you must have a quantified data, means all the value must be in a numerical form. Statistical results are not exact. It is not a mathematics which gives you accurate result. It's an inferential statistics. It tells about that, yes, here the data, the fact is about approximately. You can do this. So here, the data, the result is not exact, but it is nearly too exact and it tells you, uh, it gives a decision making that what a good decision is. The statistics deal with aggregates only, means whenever we are going to apply the statistics, we are working with mean value, we are working with mode, we are working with medium, median, and we are working with standard deviation because all the statistical tools which we are going to take into consideration, these values are going to be there. You have got the value of more than one respondent. Your sample size will be 500 to 5 lakhs. So, so you have to aggregate the values. So, here there is another limitation of statistics that here we use to aggregate the value and Therefore, the value is not exact. Then, statistics is useful for expert only. As I have told you that if a person has to use a statistics, he must have a proper knowledge and experience. He must know that what is the objective and on that objective he must frame an hypothesis and he has to see that whether he is going to try the test of homogeneity, test of infinity, test of goodness of fit, test of independence. So, he must have an expert of the statistics that this is our data and on this data, this statistical tool is appropriate and on this basis, he is going to get there. If a person is not an expert, he don't know that which statistical tool he is going to apply, which is also a limitation of an statistics. Then, statistics does not provide solution to the problem. It guides a person that this is to be done. If you are going to take the probability, probability is going to tell you that this is the chances of occurring of an event or this is the chances of non-occurring of an event. Regression will tell you that this is the point where you are going to get the things. Correlation will tell you that this is the positive or a negative correlation. But it will not provide the solution to the problem. It is just going to help you, to guide you that this is the accuracy, this is the result and on this result you are going to take the solution, you are going to take your step towards your answer. So these are the limitations of the statistics that it must have a quantitative Data only, exact value is not given, aggregate data is useful, it is not useful for the person who is not an expert and it doesn't give solution to the problem. So, these are the things which are being very important for a statistics. So, for a proper statistician, you must have a knowledge about how to apply the statistics. Collection of data, interpretation of data, analysis of data and on the basis of analysis, interpreting data. I hope you have understood these things in a very simple manner. I wish you all a good luck. Thank you.